Hello, so today's second tutorial is again on text, so sorry. <laughs> and uh, we are going to make uh, some kind of this text. As you can see, it's not perfect. Uh, the lines are not perfect, it's kind of uh, colorful. Yeah, file new and make a new image. So I will use my screen resolution. So I will get very big text. Now take paint bucket tool and click on the image if your default color is black. So just paint it in black. Now add new layer and choose any color but don't choose black or white because you don't see, uh, you won't see black color uh, and the white uh, we will need. So any color uh, will work fine because we will just crop out. So text tool. Uh, any font you want, any size you want. Uh, if you want, you can bold it or whatever and just write it. If you want, you can go to adjustments, align to center, align object, I mean, and then align to center, like so, and go to effects, an object, outline object. Choose something similar to this, so uh, color white, softness uh, almost the end, but it's not so end. It's 2, 3, 6 on my image and width uh, will depend on the image size. So 5 looks good on my image and uh, yeah, click OK. Now take magic one tool and uh, change fluid mode to global or hold left shift on your keyboard and click on that color you have chosen. You also may need to uh, adjust tolerance. so. You will pick only that color, not white color, not black color, only that color. And hit delete on your keyboard. So you will have something like this. Now, the fun part, I guess, and duplicate layer twice on the second layer from top. Go to it, choose move selected, move selected pixels tool, press right mouse button and drag it. So you will have this rotation thing going on, just by a bit, don't do too much. And also if you can release it and just move normally, by a side a bit. Now on this layer, go to it and do the same, uh, the same thing, just choose other side, uh, like so. Yeah, uh, select. Uh, duplicates the second from bottom layer and you can move it normally like so and do this as much as you want uh, do with as much rotation with as much movement as you want uh, just feel free on this uh, and when you have got your kind of result go to image flatten add a new layer and we will use color things. So choose primary and secondary colors for something. Uh, choose brush, paint brush uh, tool. Uh, pretty much big brush width, but not too big, just like a quarter of a text height, maybe bigger, and hardness about 10. Now draw with one color. So use left mouse button, draw like this. Now draw another line, use right mouse button. Now choose another colors. Uh, to choose secondary color, right click on that color table somewhere and repeat more lines and do this until you have got everything covered up. Now change this layer blending mode to overlay, click OK, merge it down, uh, add new layer, uh, choose white color, paint bucket tool, click on the image change this layer blending mode to overlay also click ok merge down and you can go to effects photo glow if you want and uh, it may add something yeah it added something not too much not too less i guess so, uh, if you will have uh, like two less of colorness if, and if you want to add more you can uh, repeat by adding new layer and drawing some more lines like this. Change the slab blending to overlay. 
and if you want you can decrease opacity and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, this is not very awesome text effect I guess I don't really like it as much uh, but you may get some ideas of what you can make maybe some techniques or something uh, so hopefully uh, it will be helpful by this way or if you just like this text effect just click like button and I see you next time bye